With all that has been going on with the NAR settlement and the fact that compensation to buyer's agents from the seller will now not be announced on the MLS, you may be very confused as to whether you should even offer compensation to buyer's agent. So let's go over the pros and cons on this very important issue. But before we do, make sure you hit subscribe to stay on top of all the latest news in Miami real estate. So with the proposed settlement, which has not yet been approved, basically one of the main ingredients is that buyer compensation, which was hosted in the MLS, is now going to have to be advertised outside of the MLS. It could be on your brokerage website, flyers, but buyer compensation would not be advertised as it has been in the MLS. And so you might be asking how many sellers are actually going to be offering a buyer broker commission. As a seller, and I have been a seller oftentimes, and I wanna receive all the offers from everybody regardless of who their agent is. I want every potential buyer coming to the property because I want to get the most money possible for my house. And I wanna sell in the shortest amount of time. So I want to increase the exposure to every possible buyer out there and every possible buyer's agent. Because the listing agent job is really to market the property in a way that guarantees the maximum exposure to the right pool of both buyers and their agents. Otherwise, you can really limit the buyer pool. As a seller, you don't want to leave out those buyers that will not be able to afford to pay their agent directly. I want the buyers that are working with a new real estate agent. I want those that are working with a seasoned real estate agent. I want buyers working with another agent from another brokerage as well as agents from my own brokerage. In other words, I want all possible buyers. The idea is to get everyone considering your home, creating a sense of urgency among buyers to generate the best offer and successfully cash the highest net possible for your property. Another pro of offering a buyer agent compensation is potentially a faster sale. Not only getting a higher price, but a faster sale. Increasing the exposure results in more showings and typically leads to a faster sale. And realistically, when you're marketing your home, days on market works against you. The longer the home sits on the market, typically the less price you're going to end up getting. So that ends up working against you. So, of course, I'm all in for great exposure, reaching and including all possible buyers. 